In the DC Universe, there are egregious double standards where one hero can get away with something that their colleagues simply cannot. Here are the three biggest double standards in DC Comics. Barry Allen was the villain of Flashpoint. When Barry Allen was brought back to life in the late 2000s, it happened because people like Jeff Johns and Grant Morrison were fans of the character. When Johns was put in charge of The Flash, it eventually led to Flashpoint, which wasn't originally supposed to be an entire DC reboot, but plans changed on the fly. Looking at Flashpoint, and this also sort of applies to the Flash movie, Barry Allen was actually the villain. Allen saving his mother created the broken Flashpoint Earth, which ultimately makes all of the horrors that followed his fault. The story tried to make Reverse Flash the villain, but he didn't really even do anything wrong. Barry was only positioned and championed as the hero because he had fans writing the narrative behind the scenes. Supergirl deserves more respect than Superman. Supergirl and Superman are two very different characters, despite having very similar origins. Looking closely at their lives, some would say that Supergirl is actually the more respectable cousin as far as being a Kryptonian. Kal-El was a baby when Krypton was destroyed, and sure he lost his family and his people, but he didn't actually know them until after the fact. Kara Zor-El was a teenager when Krypton fell and she had a whole life that was ripped away from her in an instant. Furthermore, Supergirl's rocket was supposed to get to Earth earlier than Superman's, but instead she was lost in space. And on top of all of that, pound for pound, Kara is technically more powerful than her cousin Kal-El. Batman treats the Justice League terribly. Batman is always sticking his cowl in other people's business, but runs around doing whatever he wants himself. Batman's relationship with the Justice League is a perfect example of this attitude. The Cape Crusader has betrayed the JLA multiple times over the years and even has plans of how he would kill them all, including himself, if he or they ever went rogue. Bruce Wayne judges everyone harshly despite everything he's done and is willing to do to the League, and it's a glaring double standard that makes no sense. 